Okay, so here's the deal. It's losers round three and my fourth game in the Players' Cup. I have seen my opponent's team and it looks like... To say the least, it looks like a nightmare. It looks like the, uh... Boy, I hope I don't have to play against this kind of team, this tournament kind of matchup. You know what I'm saying? Um... So... Yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. Um... It's the weakness policy Dragapult plus Togekiss with Dragonist uh, Dragapult and uh, uh, Shadow Sneak, Dusclops, and it has Sylveon. So it's looking it's looking rough for the home team. Um, and the home team is me in this instance, in case you run, you run clear. So, I, I mean, of course I'm not going to give up, like, obviously, but um, it's going to be really difficult. Uh, I need to find a way through this Dragapult. And, like, on the one hand, turn, like, there's a lot of really difficult stuff here. Like, they have... Um, they have Ally Switch and will o -Wisp Dusclops, which is a nightmare to deal with. I do have Taunt, of course. Um, they have Calm Mind, Pixelate, Hyper Voice, Quick Attack, Sylveon. Um, it's just really tough. I'm trying to think if I can find a way to game plan my way through this. Doing something like Cinderachi plus my load, it could be interesting. Um, how would that help me? Togekiss? Every Togekiss has Protect! It's horrible! If I lead, like, Togekiss and... If I lead, like, Dragapult and Cinderachi... If I lead, like, my Lodic and Cinderachi and they lead Togekiss Dragapult, do I lose instantly? Um... Rillaboom and Cinderachi are once again strong in the back. It's, they beat everything except for the Togekiss Dragapult lead. So, one thing I can... I have the option of doing is I can say, alright... Um... I really can't do that, can I? And Tyranitar is not bad here either, but getting Tyranitar and Trick Room and getting around that Dusclops don't really look feasible, in my opinion. Um, not with Dragapult running around. So this is a matchup where Toga against Dusclops would have been super strong, but I don't have Togekiss or Dusclops. Or I don't have Togekiss, so... Um, they already know what they're doing. I think I'm going to do these, this up front, and then I think I have to do a Sonora and Rillaboom in the back, and just say, alright, here's the deal. I need to get rid of this Togekiss and Dragapult to win the game. And if I don't do that, then I will lose. Um, do I need Incineroar here? I honestly don't think I do. It'd be just for a Rillaboom, right? I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. It's very weird, but I'm going to try it. I'm, an, I'm so weak to their Rillaboom. However, I think, I, ha I think in order to beat this matchup... Sometimes when you have a bad matchup, you just have to take risks. And this is a risk I'm willing to take, so... Um, Yep, that's kind of how things go. I've got Tyranitar in the back, which is good. Um, yeah, but getting around the rest of this team is going to be a nightmare. Let's see if they'll do with Dusclops or Togekiss. Oh, Dusclops and Togekiss. So, truth be told, I am a little surprised to see that. Um, this isn't what I expected at all. They don't really, to me, look like they have a super strong trick room mode. Um, I don't want to get burned here. That's one of the big things. Helping Hand Max Darkness would one-shot the Dust Clops. Do I think they're going to protect here? Or do I think they're just going to try and take a KO? I'm going to go for Iron Head and Helping Hand here, I think. Why are you doing this? Are you trying to burn me turn one? That's my assumption. This is a little bit of a weird play. I might just get burned turn one, which is okay. Um... Willowist Dusclops actually rolls my team, I realize now. Which is not great, because I, I didn't bring in Sinor. So, like, all my, my sweepers in the back are... What on earth? They Dynamax Togekiss? I'm not going to KO them because I didn't Dynamax, but I, I could have been in a really nice shape this game if I wanted. I just didn't want to, I guess. Um, they're going to ally switch. That's what they're going to do. I forgot they had ally switch. Alright, that's okay. Um, it's not the end of the world. I honestly don't hate this. Ally switch, or helping hand, then ally switch. Yeah, I mean, I know these players. Truthfully, Dusclops doesn't have that much else to do, to be honest with y'all. It's kind of just chilling. Oh, actually, no ally switch. If I Dynamax there, this game would have been overturn one. Honestly. Um, bop. We do a ton of damage to their Dynamax token gifts. They don't have weakness policy. Uh, they don't have max flare. They go for airstream. They want the speed advantage. Into my steel tits and Jirachi, who does survive. Um. They crit me. That's crit kiss. That's fine. Wait, what move do they want to use? It has to be Trick Room. Or will o -Wisp. What could be will o -Wisp? will o -Wisp. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's okay. Take a little burn damage. Any burn damage in the chat? Um, 
I mean, truthfully, like, I have some options here, right? I can Iron Head the Dusclops, I guess, and protect Token Kiss. Like, they know I have Icy Wind. They also know I have Scald. Um, this Willow's Dusclops is going to be annoying. That's that's the truth. There's no two ways about it. There's only one way about it, and it's the annoying way. Um, this actually isn't that bad of a position. Yeah, I think I Iron Head the Dusclops here, predicting probably an ally switch and, like, an airstream into my Lodic. Because then I think that move makes sense for them. They could also just Shadow Sneak me, though. But let's see, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just soloing out the turns of Dynamax, trying to get Tyranitar in at the right time. They go for a Shadow Sneak, so I could have just Sucker Punched if I wanted, but um, I should go down to this. Yeah, I do go down to this, which is alright. Ideally, they go for Airstream again. I mean, uh, Starfall, but I think they're going to Airstream. They go for Airstream again. Ball feels like it's in my court, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Ball feels very much in my court. They crit me again through Protect, not a huge deal. Um... It's a Dynamax Tyranitar game. That's just the, the fact of the matter right now. Um, if I go for Icy Wind here, I'm not in terrible shape at all. Um, although, I'm not in great shape either. It's Assault this Rillaboom, and it has superpower, so that is something I have to keep in mind here. Um, and I have my own Rillaboom in the back. So how on earth am I going to win this one? I can protect an Icy Wind. That does one thing for me. That takes out the Togekiss, who I think they're going to Airstream with again. I could Darkness the token gets expecting ally switch. They're definitely going to airstream my Milotic, right? great. I hate ally switch. Stupid move. Okay, I mean, I could protect here. I could rock slide here. They're going to airstream my Milotic, and are they going to ally switch or are they going to Willowis? I mean, what's the worst case scenario here, right? They ally switch, and like, I guess I waste a turn to Dynamax. I hope this does not. They actually switch Dusclops out. Oh, into Incineroar? S oh, Sylveon. Okay, that's, that's alright. Um... Although I don't take out Togekiss, which I realize now is a problem. I kind of forgot that I had to take out Togekiss this turn or for it's not like to be using Follow Me. Although, I mean, let's see how much this does. Like, I'm still doing some nice damage here, and thanks to um, thanks to my Lotus Speed stat, like, I'll, I'll attack before the Sylveon, even if Sylveon gets his speed boost, I think. I dropped their special defenses as well. This looks winnable. I don't know. I, like, maybe I'm crazy, but this looks winnable. I don't feel that bad about this. And I think game one is very important in this set. They go for Airstream again, they're attacking my Lodic. This is, if this was the one that didn't crit, that'd be cool. Uh, unfortunately, it does crit, which is a problem. Um, yeah, that's actually really bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, well, I can still win this. I have complete faith in my ability to win this one. Um, yeah, we have to see how fast the Sylveon is. If it's faster than base 100, if it's faster than 100 stat, it could be kind of hard. No, oh, I should have Icy that turn. I, like, didn't want to get burned there. That's a lot of damage. I mean, basically, a lot of their Pokemon are in range of my Pokemon, but they probably have Rillaboom in the back, and because I have my own Rillaboom and not Incineroar, like, I need to I need to make the most of my max turns, and right now I'm not doing that. Token gets his damage first. Then my Lodic, excellent. Okay, my Lodic. That means that uh, we're actually okay here. They may activate my weakness policy, but that's okay. Um, Token gets goes back to Babby for me. They've probably got Rillaboom as the last Mon, right? Or it could be Incineroar, but Incineroar would be alright. If they have Incineroar, like, I don't think they beat Tyranitar. Uh, I'm gonna go for Max Rockfall here into Sylveon, and I'm gonna go for a big ol' Icy Wind. I think there's a couple worlds in which they don't... K uh, they have to Air Slash my Milotic here. That's, like, their optimal move. Um, oh, I wish I'd, I wish I'd chipped the token just a little more. I should have Icy Winded. Like, in a perfect world, they wouldn't have noticed that my Milotic is max speed. I wish that last one hadn't crit. Yeah, because my Lotus sticking around would be really nice here, not gonna lie. Salt Fest. They have super power on the Rillaboom, which probably kills me through Dynamax, unfortunately. I think I might lose. I think I probably lose this one. It depends a lot in this turn. Because I, I still have one turn left through Dynamax, but they actually switch Sylveon out. So something else has to take a rock fall. It's Dust Pops. Alright. So I guess that means they're gonna do something annoying here. They frisk my weakness policy. I actually oh, they actually protect. Okay, cool. Um huh. I hope that doesn't matter. It might not matter. It might matter. Because now I can't rock fall for the KO. Um, okay, cool. They really are desperately trying to stall out my uh, turns of Dynamax. And they're doing a pretty good job at it at that as well. Is this the turn I read the ally switch? That's a question that I have to ask myself here. Um, do I want to read ally switch this turn? Even in the best case scenario where I get both KOs. I need to get both KOs this turn, right? 
Um, I'm gonna read Alistair's this time. Taking out Dusclops here isn't enough. I need, or taking out Togengus here, if they Alistair's, isn't enough. I think I have to read it. I go for Protect. I really hope they use it. I, my heart's in my mouth right now. Wrong move, Wolf. Ah, oh, if I take out Dusclops there, I probably can win. <sighs> That's really bad. If I take out Dusclops there... Because now I get burned and I don't... I mean, I can still win this. I definitely can still win this. 100% I can still win this. However, getting burned here is quite unfortunate. Um, yeah. I don't know if I can... I can no, I can still win this. I can still win this. That was really bad played by me. This whole, this whole interaction was just poorly played by me. Because I still have Choice Band Rillaboom in the back, and that's a big deal. Um, that can beat every Pokemon on their team. Full, I fully believe that. I'm out of Dynamax though. And I, if I take, yeah, if I take out Dusclops there, I basically am. If I, if I like basically if it becomes Rillaboom versus Rillaboom at any point, um, I probably win. However, in this position, oh, I'm so bad at dealing with Ally Switch. Okay, we can do this. 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 Um, the way that I win this is I have to switch Rillaboom in here. I win with Rillaboom. And then I Scald into the Rillaboom. Because I should be able to just Grassy Glide my way to victory. They don't have Knock Off either, which is interesting. Um. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. If this turn does a certain thing, like if they ally switch this turn, for example, okay. PLEASE BURN! Please! Just this once! Just one time! Yeah, whatever I ask for it, I don't get it. You turn into Milotic, that's the end of Milotic, and then they go into Sylveon. Um, how much are we doing to Dusclops here? Dusclops. Ah, uh, Rillaboom. Ice System Set versus Dusclops. Because this... I mean, if they burn me, I lose for sure. It's not helping hand. It's like 70 base power. Sylveon comes in. Alright, that's alright. They actually call call the switch and, re and win the game. Okay, yeah, I lose. I lose for sure. I can no longer win this. Um, probably. Sylveon is protect, right? Yeah, they played well, honestly. Willow's Dusclops is hard to deal with, and I didn't deal with it properly either. Um, what is the means for me to... What's the what's my means to victory this game? I can't win. Getting both my Pokemon get burned there was means I can't win. Oh, this was, I, this was really... This game one was so important to win because the matchup was so bad and he didn't bring the Pokemon that capitalized the most in the bad matchup. So, yeah. I mean, the Willow's Dusclops, as you can see, is a nightmare because I don't... My only immunity is Incineroar, who I don't... Honestly, don't really want to bring. Um, but yeah, good read, good read. I don't think Lash Out will KO... Uh, just, I'm confident Lash Out will not KO Dusclops from this range. So I think the way that I... I think my way back into this is like Woodhammer Rock Slide, get the flinch. Um... Yeah, I think that's my way back into this. And then, like, Sylveon protects to get the Rock Slide flinch and puts them in uh, Lash Out range. I KO Dusclops with Lash Out, and then I force a 2 versus 1, and then I hope that I can win somehow from there. Because, I mean, yeah, I could do that. If they predict Sylveon here. They do predict Sylveon. Okay, so my... The other thing is that, like, if I ignore Dusclops, it's not like I can do anything. Like, it's already burned everything. It did its job. All I can do is ally switch. You know? Okay, I mean, I, wait, oh, they go for Trick Room. Flinch! Please flinch. Okay, Trick Room goes up. Uh, so that was a problem. That's that's a time where locking into Grassy Glide probably would have been better. Um, Sand is also down, so I'm in, I'm in actually enormous trouble. Huge heaps of trouble. Um, I'm not going to give up. There is a world in which, yeah, my T-Tar is slower than Sylveon, so, like, correctly calling Ally Switch into, um, like, they've given me the ability to flinch all their Pokemon with Rock Slide, so... Uh, I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna go for it, of course. Like, Rock Slide, if I call Ally Switch correctly this turn, uh, take a KO on the Sylveon, and then... God, the password damage takes so long. I mean, they're just gonna Hyper Voice, I'm gonna lose. I don't know why I'm explaining it. I need to, I think they're going to Ally Switch this turn. I'm gonna Woodhammer the, nope, Woodhammer the Dusclops. I have so many chances to win this game. It's actually insane. Dang it. Oh, so bad. They're playing really well. It's so hard to deal I hate Ally Switch. It's so hard to deal with. Like, just knowing that they had it made me play so poorly. Because that's, tw that's twice I, you know, played around it. What did I lead this game? Did I lead T-Tar? No, I led my Lodic. I led my Lodic. Okay. 
Okay, well, here's the way we win. Alice switch. Okay, whatever. I flinch the Sylveon with Rock Slide. Okay, I connected. That's the first step. Then I got my 30% flinch into Sylveon. Thank you very much. Delicious, delicious. Doesn't happen. Okay. Yeah, I lose. If I flinch there, I have a small chance. Not a very good chance, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to figure out a way back into this one because the matchup is super hard and this was the game I had to win. This is like my free game because I didn't bring the right Pokemon. Though honestly, after playing it, I'm not sure if I can say on like confidently that they didn't bring the right Pokemon because these Pokemon were kind of hard to deal with. <laughs> uh, I think I have to Dynamax Cinderachi this game. Like, not Dynamaxing Cinderachi was kind of bad. The Dusclops and the Allies, which in the Fall of Me mind games, are just... They're just difficult. Doesn't really matter who I target. Now would be a good time to have Max Starfall. Like, any Fairy or Electric type attack on the team. Good game, good game. They played well. You know, can't can't take anything away from them. I could bring my own Dusclops. That's one option that I have. However, if they lead Dragapult and I lead Dusclops, I'm going to lose. If they lead Dragapult, Token gets or Dragapult, um, Dusclops. So I can't do that. So then what am I going to do to get around this? I think the answer is I have to lead my Lodic on the bench. Like, I don't see another answer other than that, right? Does that cover everything? Alright, we're gonna... Okay, here's the deal. We led with my load of last game. We're gonna hard read them not to bring Incineroar this game. That's my hard read. I think they want... I don't think they want Incineroar in this matchup. If they're bringing Rillaboom, Togekiss... They definitely... They're bringing Dusclops for sure. They're bringing Rillaboom for sure. We know that for a fact. Um, so I feel comfortable going my four physical attackers because I think they're not gonna... They're not gonna counter it. That's my... That's my hard read. I think if they make an adjustment, it's the Dragapant. That's my that's my guess. I'm not sure they'll make an adjustment. I think they might feel pretty good about what they did game one. Dusclops doesn't have recovery, and it also doesn't have any way to do damage. Okay, this is what I expected. So, in this situation, um, they're not going to bring Dragapult. We already we already know that, that they didn't bring Dragapult this game. So that's something we feel confident in. That's more or less a fact. Um... I think what I do here is I go for a double up into the toga into the Dusclops here, um, going for Rock Slide. We know they have to Airstream here if they want to max Togekiss. On the one hand, on the other hand, like of course they could just protect. Um, but basically, I think what I do is I say, all right, all right, you got me. You can burn one of my Pokemon, but I'm not letting you burn both. Oh, interesting. Incineroar. They honestly got me. I didn't think they were gonna bring Incineroar. I wish they'd banned it. Please ban Incineroar. It's okay. We can just Rock Slide flinch him. Uh, we get some damage off. It's Agua Berry. Fake out Parting Shot. Flip for a Snarl. Okay. Not terrible. We know three of their Pokemon. That means they probably don't have Sylveon. They probably have Rillaboom as the last. Yeah. I made a hard read and it didn't work. That was a good adjustment. They're honestly playing very well. If I had gone for Lash Out Max Darkness this turn, can you imagine? Can you imagine the payoff? Ally Switch, Ally Switch, Ally Switch. No, no, no Ally Switch. Turn to Steel type. They can burn me. They can definitely burn me. Um, however, I don't even think it's the end of the world, world if they burn me. I'm gonna get probably like 40 to 50 percent off with this combination attack. I think I'm gonna do less. I'm gonna do like 40. Um, however, the damage at least is more or less permanent here. Minus Rillaboom's Grassy Terrain. So, yeah. Um, however, I do realize now that my only answers to Togekiss are on the board. So if I let both of them get burned, and given that I've already used Dynamax, this might actually be a lot worse than I realized. Flinch. Nope. Well, this comes out. Oh, actually, Trick Room comes out. Okay. So I know their move here, right? Um, I know their move exactly. So I can predict it and therefore counter it. I'm actually going to sack my Dynamax here. I'm going to give up my Dynamax. I'm going to say, all right, I don't want to get burned. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm 
Sometimes you have to quit while you're ahead and not letting Cinderachi get burned, given that it's my Steel-type Pokemon this match, I think is the play. Um, I need to ensure that both my Pokemon don't get burned, to be specific. And I have some ways of doing that, however, they're not all super great. There should be Fake Out into Tyranitar. Yep, and then there should be will -Wisp into Incineroar. I could have attacked there and taken the Fake Out damage. However, just in case I was wrong, I figured since I intend to switch this turn anyway, um, this is a better move. Okay, now I can do this. I can switch to Cinderachi. And I can Fake Out into the Incineroar. I don't think they hard switch out here. Let's find out. Okay, I thought that was Dynamax. When, the, when it paused, I was like, is it is it Dynamaxing? Well, it was into Cinderachi. I'm now Fire type again, which is nice. Um, let's find out the speed order here. Dusclops takes damage. There, it's an order takes damage, okay. What that means... Um, I think I go for Iron Head into one of these Pokemon. And I think I Parting Shot the other. Uh, I think I can Iron Head into the Incineroar here. I'm gonna Iron Head the Dusclops and Parting Shot the Incineroar. That covers almost everything. Maybe the other order is better, but I, like, I don't know if they're gonna- Oh, they actually switched Dusclops out. They go to Sylveon. Okay, so we get, we get an Iron Head into Sylveon, which is super nice. They're gonna go for Parting Shot- We're Speed Tying. Why are we speed tying? Oh, why? Why are we speed tying? I didn't know. I probably the game probably told me. I probably just wasn't paying attention. Let's go into Titar. I don't want to give them grassy terrain recovery just yet. I think we're gonna get some nice damage in the Sylveon, which is which is good. Parting shot comes out. That should be into Cinderachi. No, it's actually into Tyranitar. Okay, that's fine. Um, I got a Steel type Iron Head into Sylveon. That's good. They're gonna go Dusclops here, they have no choice, yeah. They go for Frisk, okay. How do I, how am I winning this game? Please tell me. Steel type, okay. It's so difficult. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, we're up in Mons, but they haven't Dynamaxed yet. So it's more or less in their favor. Question is, how are we beating this Togekiss? My gut tells me, all right, Wolf, here's what you do. Dusclops is nearly gone. Togekiss is the only offense they have left. I think what I have to do here is save Tyranitar until the end of their Dynamax and use, um, where are we going into here? How much did you left? I have so many questions. Togekiss comes in, okay. Which one are they going to burn? That's my, that's my first question. How, and I need to know how many turns of Trickerum are left. Last turn of Trickerum. Um, I am Steel-type. This is the last chance I have to be Steel-type. I don't think Iron Head Togekiss is going to do that much damage is the thing. I still need the damage. It's funny because, like, all my Pokemon are so healthy and, like, etc. But I feel like I'm in a losing position. They actually switched Dusclops out. Okay, so nobody gets burned here, which is nice. Um, I also get the Cinnora back in, which is decent, I would say. Um... And ideally, we'll get this Iron Head off into the into the Togekiss, though honestly, I, I don't have complete faith that it's going to happen, but yeah, we'll have to see. Um, if, we can, if we can not get crit this one time, then I think, like, we're going to be in a decent position to win this game, because in the end, I can go into... In, like, I'm just positioning for Tyranitar Rock Slide Endgame. Try and win that way. Oh, their Incineroar is faster than my Tyranitar, which means they can party shot me, but yeah. This is just a question about Togekiss right now. Um, I expect them to attack into my Cinderachi with Airstream, but I guess they could hit Tyranitar, but I don't think they will. I think they're going to smack Cinderachi here. And I have to hope that they don't crit me, and that if they do crit me, I survive. I don't remember how much the last one did. I think I had like 30-something HP at the end. It might have been 20-something. They go for Airstream. That means they're going to be faster next turn, and they hit Cinderachi. I actually don't get crit this time, so that's a big deal. Uh, that's actually a huge deal. And I'm only minus one attack, so I should do like 30 to 40% here with Iron Head. Bop! Cool. 30 to 40%. Alright, cool. I am life orbed. And they're gonna take some sand. No, they don't take any sand damage. Okay, cool. Um, so, the, the way that we win this game is we get to play the game of... Let's, uh, stall at Trick Room. Let's stall at Dynamax. Um, we have no reason not to Sucker Punch here. Um, 
I don't think they're gonna go for Starfall. At no point in this game have they made me feel like they want to go for Starfall. So my options here are to... I'm gonna parting shot the Tojikus. I don't want to switch turn and turn as my win condition. They actually switch Incineroar out, so uh, that's cool. Dusclops comes back in, that's cool. They frisk me, that's not as cool. Sucker Punch comes out. I, I figure, like, I expect them to attack into Cinderachi this turn. Um, I figure, like, the damage doesn't really matter, but, like, you know, that's 10%, right? 10% for free? Like, maybe it works. Starfall actually happens into... I made the wrong move. Wait, they did that? That's an insane play. You're actually out of your mind. You're actually out of your mind there. I can't be burned anymore, so Dusclops is now useless. And I'm actually going to get a parting shot off here as well. Uh, I feel good about this one, I'm not going to lie. I actually feel really nice about this one. And I get sand up for more chip damage. Like, I mean, obviously Iron Head would have been better there. I was prepared just to sack. Um, Iron Head would have been better. However, with Misty Terrain up, like, what are you going to... How are you going to beat my Tyranitar in the end? Truthfully, I'm, I'm tempted just to sack some... Like, sack Rillaboom or somebody here. Oh, and I'm Dark-type, so actually, wait, hang on. The biggest brain play here would be... Hang on, wait, how much do I take from this? Ah, no, never mind, that's small brain. <laughs> wait, the actual big brain play would be Sucker Punch Dust Clubs here. Like, if I... Knowing that I can Sucker Punch them changes the equation a bit, I think. I'm gonna Sucker Punch the Dust Clubs. I kinda wanna not protect here, but I think I should protect. I'm gonna protect. I expect Dust Clubs is gonna switch back into Incineroar here, right? That's the most obvious move. I have to be prepared. I gave up my Dynamax. I also have to be prepared to give up my Weakness Policy. Uh, it's not a... Get, having a Weakness Policy... I knew it was coming. Having a weakness policy is not as important as winning this game. Uh, I've, I've kept Tornator so healthy, specifically for this endgame, so... Ah, I sucker punched the wrong slot, I should have iron-headed. Let's see if they if they punish uh, my move here. Like, the worst case scenario is they Starfall Tyranitar here. Sucker Punch does nothing. Uh, they go for Starfall. Okay, they're prepared to, they're prepared to sacrifice everything. That's the way it's looking to me. No crits. Dang. We don't need weakness policy to win this game. I'm just going to say it how it is. We do not need weakness policy to win this game. Um, they're four. They're five, even. Oh, I survived. That was They actually did really well there. I should have iron-headed just to keep them honest. Like, if I get Shadow Snuck, whatever. Like, they stay in with Dust Clops. That's a better situation for me in the long run. Um... We're going to Iron Head here. They're going to fake me out. I can't stop it. Um, we're going to Iron Head. We're going to switch back into Incineroar. I'm a little worried about Crit Dazzling Gleam. However, um, yeah. However, I think it's okay. I'm so close to being able to win this. It's crazy. Gorilla Boom's still full HP as well. Like, a couple of Wood Hammers will win me the game. How much damage do I need on Token Gist before Grass and Blight starts being threatening? They're going to Free Dazzling Gleam. Take out into Cinderachi. Into Incineroar. Oh, I like it. Okay. Gleam shouldn't KO me even with a crit. They don't crit me, so it doesn't matter. They have gotten really unlucky with crits here. Um, okay. This turn, I have a pretty clear play. I fake out the Incineroar, and I rock slide. Um, yeah. There's no real counterplay to that, I think. Except for the fact that they still have their Ogwog Berry. That's a bit of a problem, because I am going to proc the Berry here. Um, however, even as they drop my attack, like... What you guys have to understand is that my goals right now are get enough damage in Token Gist to put in Grassy Glide range, which currently looks like about 30%. Probably less than that. Probably like 30%-ish 30, 30 is probably safe. Um, and I need to take one more KO so I can stop the Intimidate Cycling and the Fake Out Cycling. Um, realistically, I know what my opponent's going to do this turn. I know that they're going to go for Switch to Incineroar, Dusclops, and Protect the However, I don't have a better move than this. Um, Rock Slot should be a 2 KO on the Token Gist at this point, and I actually don't want to KO... Um, I actually don't want to KO the uh, the Dust Clops this turn, which was the other option. I could have hard read this. Um, yeah. But it doesn't. it's not good for me if I do that, so... Yeah. We have to hope that Critical Hit, Dazzling Gleam... We have to hope that we connect a Rock Slide here, is the truth. Um, that's good. We wanted to leave Dust Clops alive, just barely. That's the perfect situation. Uh, and now I think we Flare Bliss the Token Gis And Rock Slide. And hope that something catastrophic doesn't happen. Maybe we parting shot the token gets here, actually. I actually don't hate parting shot token gets here, just in case it's a bit Because we, we, if, I, if they do a certain play, 
like switching to Incineroar with Togekiss and just sacking Dusclops to get Intimidate and Fake Out recycled. I don't think they'll do it because I don't think it gains them any ground, but I mean, I thought, yeah, I thought Incineroar could switch in here. I was afraid of accidentally activating the, the Figgy Berry. Um, that would have been bad. Dazzling Crit won't kill my Tyranitar, right? No way. No way. No way. Please, no way. Gleam comes out. I need Rock Slide to connect on one of these Pokemon. Again, it doesn't crit either. I'm going to be honest, y'all. The odds of that happening are extremely low. Wait, didn't they crit me every game, every turn game one? Okay, they're just getting unlucky. Um, uh, unlucky. Okay, we win. Okay. We crit the Incineroar. I don't think that one mattered. Um, huh. They didn't crit anything. But they crit me a bunch game one, right? Did they attack more than once game one? I don't remember. Huh, okay. I played really well this game, but I, the matchup still feels really awkward, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it feels really awkward, because of the stupid Willow's Dust Clots. But I think I played this one really well with my Intimidate stuff, um, truthfully. Okay, we're gonna go for Lash Out and Grassy Glide. What am I gonna do game three? I have the tools at my disposal. I can definitely win this, GG. Um, I need Incineroar, that much is clear to me right now. The Parting Shot and the, the, the two immunities to um, I don't think I want to bring my Lodic, even knowing, even knowing that they're going to bring in Spinor, I still don't think I want my Lodic. Same Pokemon as last game. I don't know anything better than this. I, I think that's just the truth. Like, Cinder- Ah! I could do Cinderachi Dusclops lead. But if they lead Dusclops and Dragapult, I would still be okay. No, they would just switch to Incineroar, then I did get intimidated a bunch. But I get a lot in return for it. <sighs> I kind of feel like Cinderachi Dusclops Titar Instant is the play here. Like, Rillaboom isn't that good. I, can't, I think I might regret this. I might regret this. Stay tuned to find out! Ba 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 ba! Good luck, have fun to hang. I needed to bring... Oh, I didn't bring Rillaboom in the back. I just remembered. Oopsie. No Dusclops. Dragapult. Okay, same lead to the last game. Can't complain too much about that. Um, should I hard read a switch here? A switch to Incineroar? It definitely could happen. I need to put on offensive pressure with my Cinderachi. That's just kind of the, the baseline here. I need to get a Steel Spike off. And I'm going to taunt the Dusclops. They could counter this by going for Airstream and will o -Wisp. That's one of their options. However, I still get the Taunt and the Dusclops and a lot of damage on Togekiss in that example. They could also switch. They could switch here and go into um, Incineroar. Take the Steel Spike. However, then I would Taunt the Dusclops. Assuming that they're min-speed, which I realize now if they're not min-speed, my whole game plan falls apart. Getting a Steel Spike on the Incineroar is still healthy for us, though. It's still a good uh, scenario. It still works in our favor. Um, Dusclops is the switch. This might be Incineroar on the other side. It is Incineroar. However, getting a Taunt down is still really helpful for us because now we don't have to worry about Parting Shot. Um, additionally, if they try to go for a... Um, if they try to go for an Airstream here, I can just set Trick Room next turn. Their moves, they can't do any damage. Their moves are Flamethrower, Fake Out, Snarl, and Parting Shot. Let's see if they Dynamax their Togekiss. That's, the, I guess, the worst-case scenario here. 
No, the best case scenario, they said I'm next to it, because worst case is they protect here. I think that's the worst case. We've seen three of their Pokemon. We can start building game plans. We knew they'd bring these three. They do Dynamax. That's excellent. We want to get rid of the Dynamax right away, because again, the game plan is to win with T-Tar in the end. That's the goal here. T-Tar plus Incineroar. To predict against the Crypto Rillaboom. Togekiss is going to Dynamax. I, my gut tells me, and I don't know if this is correct, but my gut tells me Taunt, or Steel Spike after Intimidate should be a 2 at KO. I don't know if that's true. Uh, getting a defense boost on Dusclops is also going to be annoying for them in the late game. That's my guess. And Togekiss can't do that much damage here since I've Dynamaxed and turned to Steel-type. They're going to also Airstream into my Cinderachi, I'm sure of that. So, yeah. We do a ton of damage. It would have been a one-hit KO if they weren't uh, Dynamax, most likely. Oh, definitely, yeah. Even through Intimidate. And if we weren't Intimidated, we might have Oku them as well. Um, so that's good. They're going to go for Air Starfall, actually. Interesting move. Starfall into my Cinderachi. It's not going to do any damage. Uh, and we get a Taunt off into the Incineroar. They crit me? Not the end of the world. Um, not the end of the world at all. They also can no longer burn me, so I think this, this trade works in my favor. How do we win with Tyranitar? Tyranitar suddenly looks like the strongest Pokemon in the world. Um, I think the play here... So there's a couple options. Obviously, the Incineroar wants to switch back into Dusclops. So I could hard read that. Um, I could max knuckle the Incineroar. However, I think the 100% most safe play I can do is actually Steel Spike the token gives again, no need to get fancy, and double taunt the Incineroar. Because um, the only thing that, that the opponent could switch into here, because they didn't get the speed boost, like... I don't see how they can stop me from taking a token kiss eventually. And of course, like, I want to change types because I don't want to be hit with Flamethrower. However, I do really think there's a strong incentive for them to switch Incineroar out. Especially given you know I have High Jump Kick. You know it's a really obvious... Oh, okay, well, um, we take out Togekiss and get another defense boost on Dust Pops. And, like, if the last Pokemon is Rillaboom, which it very well might be, um, they're going to have a really hard time getting rid of my Dust Pops. And my Dust Pops being able to taunt their Dust Pops is going to be, I think, a nightmare. So, Yeah. I'm going to take a flamethrower here. Um, it shouldn't KO me. Comes pretty close, not going to lie. More than I expected. I go for the double taunt. Didn't have a better move there, I think. Not, okay, Nightshade would have been better. Fine, you're right, chat. Um, I'm Steel-type as well, and I'm plus two defense. So, like, if they go into Rillaboom, for example, um, they over... Oh, they want to overwrite the grass. I see. Or they over want to overwrite the... Um, the... Whatever. The Misty Terrain. Okay. So, in this position, I'm minus one attack, I'm going to Airstream into the Rillaboom, and I'm going to Nightshade into the Rillaboom. This is optimal. Uh, it covers everything. Worst case scenario, they switch into Dusclops, but the real reason I want to Airstream here, um, number one, I'll get a ton of damage down on, on their most threatening one. Number two, if I get a speed boost on my plus two defense Dusclops, I can be confident that I will that I will be able to taunt their Dusclops before they attack. Grassy Glide won't KO on plus two defense and Steel type. No, uh, uh, no way, no way, no way. Yeah, no way. Uh, this is also going to do a lot of damage. This is still a stab, super effective max life orb move, even if it's intimidated. And you're taking a nightshade after this as well. So, um, I don't think you take it very well. Okay, so in conclusion, does that crit? No, just KO'd raw. Uh, in conclusion, I think that Cinderachi Dusclops is the right lead here. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think we didn't over overcomplicate it. Um, I think we played really smart. The opponent has been playing really well, but uh, they didn't bring Dragapult, which is a huge help to us. And the thing is, once I taunt that Dusclops... Their life becomes extremely difficult. Like, extremely difficult. I'm flying type. I don't get the grassy terrain recovery. No! <laughs> I wanted it. Cool. I have Tyranitar in the back. Uh, it's going to be difficult for them to win this. I'm not going to lie. In fact, I think it's near impossible with Taunt Dust Clops at full HP and plus two defense. To make it even harder for them, I'm actually going to switch out here. Um, yeah. So, I mean, like I have a Cinderella and Tyranitar in the back, so I should be able to win this. I'm really proud of the adjustments I made this set. Um, game 1 obviously didn't go my way, but I think that I was able to really be intelligent with the mods I brought and pay attention to patterns and pick up on what my opponent was likely to bring um, and go from there. So I feel I feel proud of the fact that it looks like I'll be able to close this one out. I truthfully don't think sh Mono Shadow Sneak Dusclops and Flamethrower Snarl Incineroar is going to be enough to beat, uh, <laughs> to beat Tyranitar in the end, <laughs> ever. Like, even if it was a 1 versus 2. I mean, if they had Willowless, maybe, with burn damage, but yeah. They can drag this out, but yeah. They go for Ally Switch. It's a good move. Um, I don't blame them. However, I actually have a fail safe this time. I actually don't even have to worry about Ally Switch. They go for Snarl. They don't even care if I attack there. Uh, it does some. I mean, actually, did more than I expected. I'm not gonna lie. 
But yeah, like with recovery, I still have. Um, Darren Sonora can no longer parting shot. I uh, can't really do anything if we're going to be honest. I could bulldoze and activate my own Wix Policy as a parting shot, but what I can do actually is um, I can double parting shot and taunt into the Dusclops. That way, either I get a parting shot into Incineroar or I get the taunt into Dusclops. Uh, I'd rather have the taunt, but in a worst case scenario, getting a special attack drop is actually relevant in this matchup. So, parting shot, taunt. Their only attack is Shadow Sneak, so they have to call. Um, yeah, they have to. If they get taunted, they'll only be able to Shadow Sneak, which means like this game is effectively over. They go for Snarl. They do not uh, Alice Switch this time. They still cover the option nonetheless. Yeah, with high jump, cooks, high jump kick, Cinderachi in the back. This should be pretty doable. Wow. Ugh, long day. Switch into Tyranitar here. They're going for will o for Trick Room here. Not, neither of them are really relevant. We're going to go into Titar. I've saved the Cinderachi because it doesn't hurt. Uh, switching into Incinero, that turn didn't hurt me at all. Um, and, you know, very last, like, if, and, you know, it's just good practice to get in the habit of, if you can get, if you can save them on for free, even if it's low HP, good to do, right? Like, I could use that to, re to reset and intimidate later, or I could use it to hydrogen kick one shot the Incinero if things had to happen. Um, but yeah. Now Dusclops can only Shadow Sneak. Um, I can just pretty safely double the Dusclops here. If I wanted, I could Bulldoze. Um... Activate wake this policy and lash out, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not faster than Tyranitar, so I'm just gonna nightshade lash out. Two turns of that should KO, and then yeah, like I mean, if it sort of burns me, it can delay the game, but they'll never be able to beat Tyranitar. So we're gonna lash out and nightshade here. If it burns me, I'll just bulldoze and raise my attack again. They forfeit. Okay, GG to hang. Uh, very very scary. That's that was a terrifying match. Uh, but we're able to pull through, and we have one more. Okay, so we're three and one today. So if we win one more game, we will advance to top sixty four. Um, I don't have a lot of expectations. These have all been really hard fought and kind of down to the wire and down to a couple calls. However, I'll try and win the next one so I can play next weekend as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.